Wondering how to unlock your subconscious? Then watch this video for my four steps to unlocking your subconscious and reprogramming yourself for success. For the best advice on alignment and manifesting, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every Friday. If you're feeling frustrated by the niggling emotions, keeping yourself stuck from breaking through those upper limits, then by the end of this video, you will have four easy steps to figure out what is going on in your subconscious and to reprogram yourself for success. I've worked with over 8,000 clients with this method, and now it is your turn. So let me know, have you done muscle testing before? Comment below and let me know if this is new to you or perhaps if you've done this already. I'm going to show you how to unlock your subconscious by muscle testing and then walk you through the four steps so that you can put this into practice straight away. Your human Wi-Fi, your aura is made up of electromagnetic energy, including your thoughts, which are electrical waves and your feelings, which are magnetic waves. So think of your human Wi-Fi as a unique frequency that's sent out to the universe signaling Hey, I want more of this, please. So to live at your highest potential and manifest your next level in business, you need to bring yourself into resonance with that. Your frequency needs to be a match. This means you need to make sure that your human Wi-Fi is at the right frequency to attract this to you. So this includes all known thoughts and emotions. Think of the monkey mind, the conscious mind and unknown thoughts and emotions, subconscious. This is all making up your unique frequency. So with energy kinesiology, you have an effective four-step process to unlock your subconscious and to raise your vibration, align your heart and mind. That keeps you more in flow so you can manifest and live at your highest potential. Now, the sway test, which is one of the easiest ones to learn on your own at home, suggests that the thoughts and emotions produce a certain response in your nervous system, affecting your motor response and the movement of your body. And I'm going to talk you through how to do this. You can you can do the sway, sway test normally, you know, in under 10 seconds. It's so, so quick. So the first step is you're going to stand up or sit up straight with your feet pointing directly forward. Ensure both feet are directly forward. Neither is slightly turned out. Barefoot is best or, or no heels, ladies. Um, so you want to be able to have your feet flat on the ground. Relax your body with your hands down at your side. And then to make sure that your energy is running in a forward direction this is going to help you to have a, an accurate result tap your thymus gland which is just here simply tap there just for about 30 seconds doesn't need to be in the perfect spot just breathing in calmly breathing out and you're going to then tell yourself you're going to program yourself to think go forward for yes go backward for no First time, it might take a second or two to notice this way. So a good first test to do to calibrate can be to use your name because you know that it's true. There's no quibbling around that. So my name is, and then you say your true name and then wait for a sway. So it's usually under about five seconds and you can ask and test anything, even to confirm false things. So you can ask yourself a specific yes, no question and invite you to phrase it in the positive truth frame because the unconscious has zero capability to process negative that's why when you tell someone including yourself to not do something the first thing you you do is exactly what you said not to do <laughs> and then if needed you can repeat the question so you can get a consistent yes no answer so this sometimes happens in a first ever use of the sway test or if the question is vague Okie dokie, so I'm going to guide you through this. You're now ready for the four steps of energy kinesiology. So the first step is you're going to muscle test with the sway technique. So do I believe, have I got resistance to X, Y, Z? A forward sway is a yes, a backward sway is a no. The second step is notice your energy. How do you feel? What do you see? Does a memory pop up? How would you describe this? Because you can actually use this language as part of your releasing statement, which is in the next step. And then what I invite you to do for the third step is to, to say this as I release the belief. I release this belief that I am unsafe to earn or receive X, Y, Z amount of money. I release this across all levels of consciousness and then just breathe in grace and love and breathe out all energies that no longer serve. <sighs> And then the fourth step is, this is where we're doing the imprinting. I have received, I feel amazing. It's already happened, it's in the past. I've received this into all levels of my consciousness. I'm breathing in grace and love. 
and breathing out all energies that no longer serve. I like to do the breathing in and breathing out for three times. So if you think now about the income that you want to bring in for, let's say, next month. So let's say it is 100K. You can muscle test to find out if you're energetically resisting this. So now you know exactly what to do when you want to unlock your subconscious. I've written a two page guide for you so you can follow along with some examples to support you with breaking through your upper income limit, upper investment limit. The link is below for you. And if you'd like to join a community of high achievers and entrepreneurs like you who are committed to living at their best selves, then I invite you to my Facebook group, The Art of Alignment. You'll find the link below as well. And if you've liked this video, please do let me know by liking it. Subscribe and share it with your friends and colleagues and comment below with helpful if this video has helped you. Until next time, sending you lots and lots of love.